Hey there everyone, welcome back. Told you I don't have a new team. So I have a new team. It's the Team Comfy Cozy you see here. It's a bit interesting in the sense that what the heck is it? It's weird. Probably not something you've seen before. Uh, I liked the idea of Zerkatry. As for watching Barry Anderson, uh, who's he's got a YouTube channel. If you don't know about him, go check him out. He's awesome. Uh, he's been using Zerkatry for a while, and I just I feel like I didn't give Zerkatry a proper chance. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. You'll see here we got Porygon 2, just good Trick Room setter. Uh, you know, the Snorlax there kind of goes with that, so help against other Trick Room teams. It is Return Porygon, Return Ice Beam, Trick Room Recover. So you know, I figured that way. Uh, ice coverage is nice. Because Garchomps are not going to be fun for us. And uh, Return is just good neutral damage and everything else. We don't need the electric coverage because we have a circuitry. And uh, yeah, and that way, no matter... We have download on the Porygon too, so no matter what... No matter what boost you get, you know, attack, Return stronger. Special attack, Ice Beam stronger. Yeah. It's just... It's good. We have a Steelium Z Metagross. With... Uh, it's got Bullet Punch. It's got... Uh, Meteor Mash... It's got Zen Headbutt Protect, uh, and Corkscrew Crash is very strong. Um, the Aerodactyl is a Tailwind Setter, uh, so B Killer over here with the team. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, I think it Cursed Snorlax to help against other Trick Room teams, um, and something else that's cool. Uh, the Lizard Tree is, you know, it's got Grassy Seed actually, uh, Tail Glow, Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt Protect. You know, just hopefully set up and blast things with Thunderbolt or Dazzling Gleam. It's lots of fun. Um, and then Comfy. Comfy is the interesting one. Comfy, I don't have a a, a, a a Tapu on the team, but Comfy does have Grassy Terrain. And the idea is it's Mental Herb Comfy. It's max speed, which it's base 100. So the idea is you... Oh, let me think of a second. Uh, yeah. yeah, my dude. Okay, so here, the idea is hopefully set up Zerkatry. Zerkatry is weak to Earthquake. A lot. I don't have an Intimidate either. The Comfy has Grassy Terrain, which halves the damage that Earthquake does. Zerkatry has a Grassy Seed. So, what you can do is if you can get your Grassy Terrain up, Zerkatry takes next to nothing from Earthquakes. Which is nice, because Garchomp... You have, to, you have to avoid the Z move, which is a bit problematic. And one of the reasons why I kind of want to get an Intimidate user on this team, but I'm not sure where. Maybe Porygon. I don't know. I think Porygon's the weak link. But really the idea is, if we can, set up Zerkatry. If we can, set up Snorlax. One, one or the other. And the other move that... The other moves that the uh, Comfy has, one of the reasons why I wanted to bring it, was because... Ooh. So we're immediately threatened by Ferramosa. Um... The the Comfy has Helping Hand, Grassy Terrain, Floral Healing, which is a move that uh, it gets priority because of Comfy's ability, and it heals 50% of whatever the target is, their health. So you can target your partner, heal them. In Grassy Terrain, it heals 75%. So in Grassy Terrain, if you can get the Zerkatry set up, you can have a ta one Tail Glow, two and a half times special attack, with healing, with plus one defense, you can heal 75% plus whatever grass terrain heals additionally. So it takes a little bit of finagling, but once it gets going, it's very strong. Anyways. Uh, I don't know. We're going to get taunted here. For sure. This is a bad situation, by the way. Did I mention that? Yeah, I was predicting. So the Tapu Lele Drift Bin lead is... What I was expecting. Not this. So I led badly into this. So we're probably going to lose Porygon here. High jump kick into... Oh, no. This is good. This is good. Except it's not. Because for some reason, I thought I... No. I, I thought I was going for a, uh, a trick room there. No, I see. Yeah. That was a dazzling gleam. So I was expecting a taunt, but since my opponent didn't go for taunt, I'm inclined to think they don't have it. So I'm expecting, like, you really just, you double into Porygon here, like, Dazzling Gleam, okay, so no taunt. So if this is not 
a f if this is not an all-out pummeling from the Pheromosa into Porygon, we should be alright. Not a great start. Not a great start. So, in this instance, I suppose it would have been better to lead Aerodactyl yeah, Aerodactyl Circuitry. My biggest fear against this team was the fact that I can't stop Raichu from faking out. So, this is bad. Although... I have... I, you know, I'm not gonna win this match, but I wanna show you something cool. So you'll see, the Comfy has After You, which means use After You on a Pokemon, in case you don't know, and whatever Pokemon just got After You goes next immediately, regardless of what the original order of speed was. Comfy's actually pretty fast, it's base 100, so this is a max speed Comfy. So the idea is, like, next to next to Snorlax, like, if I think Snorlax is going to get knocked out by, like, you know, Tapu Lele or something, I can actually After You my Snorlax, and then... Snorlax will go next, and I can, like, knock out something that threatens it. So, it's something I want to try out. I gotta go for a double protect on Metagross. That's kind of my only out here, I think. Because otherwise, I'm so, so far behind. But we get it. We get it. We get it. That's what I mean. So, I, I'm inclined to think that that is choice specs or something. Comfy does not survive that because of the Pharaoh's prior plus two. So I really need to get grass to train up there. So we just got swept by Pharaoh's, really. Pharaoh's, I guess, is a huge weakness for this team. We'll keep that in mind. So, Pharaoh's. Not great. I want to show you the cool stuff. Oh well. Oh well. Well, we're gonna just go ahead and why not? I mean, we're not gonna get either, either of these attacks off. Pheromos has gotta miss a high jump kick. And Metagross has to survive. That would be a way. We could, we could do it that way. That's a way we could do it. That would be our only way out. Is setting up Snorlax as that happens. As Metagross survives a Dazzling Gleam, knocks out Lele, and as Pheromosa misses a high jump kick. But that's not gonna happen. Could happen. It could happen. You know? So what do we do when we're losing? We talk about other crap. Here comes the dazzling gleam! Drink some water. Oh, Ice Beam. That's, that's just a... That's just a fine play, my, my friend. Ice Beam. Poison Jab. High jump kick. U turn, maybe? Did I go for a turn there? I don't think that's what I meant to do. Is that crit, too? You know what? You know what? I'm thinking. That's not. Ugh. I always do this. It's not Max Happiness, Snorlax. My Snorlax hates me. My Snorlax hates me. This always happens. I don't have a better Snorlax, do I? No, I don't. Don't have a better Snorlax. Because this... None of my other Snorlaxes have Crunch. I think I have, what, two other Snorlaxes? I have a Belly Drum Protect one. And I've got another Curse one. But instead of Crunch, it has High Horsepower. But I don't use High Horsepower, really, because um, there's a lot of situations where I want... Snorlax next to Comfy, and with Grassy Terrain, it actually has the damage a high horsepower does, so not good. And I also thought it'd be nice against all these uh, Lele Driftlim running around, because you can you can crunch Driftlim for a significant amount of damage. All right, well, I'm going to fix this very very quickly. I shall return in just a moment. 
Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. I am uh, using this team here. Comfy cozy. Uh, so first game, my snow accident didn't love me, but that didn't change the fact that we uh, we just uh, we didn't lead very well. And that's kind of the problem with this team is that I made it in a very short amount of time, and it's uh, not perfect. But my desire to use Zerkatry and Comfy outweighs my desire to win games. So that's what we're going with. That's the sentiment. Uh, anyways, hopefully we'll find someone sometime soon. Who knows? Who knows? In the meantime, I am curious. Would you rather eat a bucket full of butter or a handful of, 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 of sand? I don't know. I don't know. The jury's still out on that one. Anyways, we've got Ellie over here with a... Well, this team looks like something you would have seen at the very beginning of the season, back in December. Slash January. We've got Marowak, Tapu Koko, Gyarados, Celesteela, Garchomp, and Muk. And so, the real problem for us is, is Garchomp. I think here... By the way, um, um, in case you don't know, the easiest way to uh, to to get a friendship on something is just take take whatever Pokemon you want, uh, take it to the little fence enclosure in front of the Pokemon daycare at the ranch that you use to hatch eggs, and just run around. And it takes like ten, I think it took me like ten minutes, 10, 15 minutes, something. Like that. I, I wasn't really paying attention. Probably like ten minutes to just get max happiness on Snorlax. Anyways. I think we're gonna go with this. Yeah. So, you know, because there, because there is a Gyarados and, and a Marowak, I kind of need Snorlax. Snorlax has Crunch, so that's good for the Marowak. It's pretty much just good for Marowak and Driftwood, and uh, and and Metagross too, I guess. You know, it's more consistent damage and high horsepower. Because Crunch can't miss and has a chance to lower defense. So there's that. Although, High Horsepower does have a high critical hit ratio, so that's kind of nice. Anyways, here we go. Muck Celesteela. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is fun. So I'm already faster than both of these. Celesteela cannot Oko my Zerkatry. So what we're going to do is we're going to Sky Drop the Muck. We're gonna set up a tail glow here. So what? Uh, the only way this is bad is if, yeah, okay. If that's the top of Coco, we're in trouble. That's Garchomp. Okay. So do I think this Garchomp has the ground MZ? Probably. Only problem is, okay. So. Yeah, I really, I really can't stay in here with, uh, with Zerkatry. I really can't. Because Garchomp is free to just, um... Well, okay. Here's the thing. Does it go for the Ground EMZ? I think it does, actually. I think it does. Who's more, who's more expendable, Comfy or Snorlax? I think Comfy is. I think Comfy is. Yeah, so that was a good... I was supposed to say, the only way that goes badly is if they switch in Garchomp. But they were probably just trying to avoid a Thunderbolt. Not this. That's a respect... Oh, let's see, that's a lot of damage. And it is the ground DMZ, so I'm glad we didn't lose Zerkatru there. However, we are going to lose Comfy, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. And the good so one of the reasons I want to use Comfy, it's base 100 speed. And so if you if you give it max speed uh, timid, then one of the things that you do now is you outspeed a lot of things in the format. Like Garchomp's base one or two. So max speed Garchomp actually outspeeds Comfy normally. But a lot of Garchomps now, because of Tailwind, are not max speed or they're adamant. Poison jab. Okay. I 
Okay. So unfortunately, our Zerka tree, and I regret this now, but Zerka tree is actually EV'd to have Yeah, it's got grassy seed, so it's got it's got more special defense than it does defense. This is a situation where like I didn't get the grassy terrain up, so maybe I just want to go with take. I mean, take just take those EVs out of special defense and put them in defense. Maybe that's what I want to do. All right, I'm gonna try that thing again. Maybe I want a tailwind here. Yeah, I think I need a tailwind actually. Probably what I should have gone for the first turn. I, got, I think I got too fancy on that, uh, that turn one. So he might protect Muck here. He might just protect Earthquake. I'd be very happy with that. Huh. Does not. So he's probably just going for a Rock Slide. What you gonna do? Aerodactyl's probably gonna get knocked out here. Oh, we don't, but Poison will take us out. So. Yeah, and unfortunately, if I had that defensive investment, we'd be able to survive that Earthquake. It doesn't look like we're going to do it. it. doesn't look like we're going to do it. But thank God, I have my Cursed Snorlax in Tailwind. That's a plus. That's a plus. Ugh, man. Not good. Not good. But can I come back? That's the question. Probably not. Probably not. Woo! I'm, I, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. We're getting wrecked by, by Ellie over here. Withdraws. Okay. 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 Two of are buried, which is very unfortunate. That's, I just realized that's a black sludge muck. Yeah, that's right, because it's poison touch. This really is a very old team they're using, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna curse again, and I'm actually gonna thunderbolt the muck because I'd, I'd I'd like to take that out. Okay, so the cell seal does not protect. Muck does go down. Now we're at plus three attack, and I think we've got what one more turn of tailwind. Same throw into... Oh, trying to burn me. Oh, please don't do this to me. Okay, cool. Alright, so now, I think we have one more turn of Tailwind. So basically, if we get rid of the Garchomp, we do have a chance, actually. <laughs> um, I think we have one more turn of Tailwind. Right? Yeah. Because we, we tail glowed on the first one. That was the second one. So they'll probably just protect here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm at plus four special attack. They haven't seen Dazzling Gleam yet, so I, are you going to be afraid of Zerka Tree? I don't think so. You, you can just Earthquake here. And I can't recycle my berry because it was knocked off, unfortunately. So I think here, I'm actually... I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. I could curse again, and I probably should. But I'm not going to. Okay, well. Okay. Well, my, my Snorlax this time is at, you know, max... Max happiness. So... Who's that into? Is that into Snorlax? 
Why are you so mad at Snorlax? That's nice damage. That's a super berry. Oh no, it's just leftovers. I've not been paying attention, have I? Yeah, so unfortunately here, I don't think I can take an Earthquake. I can't take an Earthquake and a Dazzling Gleam. Or I can't take an Earthquake and whatever, so... I should have cursed that last turn. Probably. Or maybe I can. Actually, that might be my only play. Yeah. Unfortunately, having having my berry knocked off, I should probably should have just cursed that last turn. So I need I need Snorlax to survive. Do the work. You're you are a fat bear. Okay, that does nothing. My bear. Go my bear. Go my bear. Do the work. Do it. My bear! I love you! <laughs> okay, so depending on what's in the back, if it is a a Marowak, we're gonna be in trouble here. If it's pretty much anything else, I think we'll be alright. Yeah. Or Gyarados might be a problem. No, cause, no, because they already used the Z move. Tapu Koko. That's super chill. Snorlax is useless. Um, yeah, I think I think my only play here is the Dazzling Gleam. Yeah. Or no, I should have Thunderbolted the top of Coco. That was silly. Yeah, we're gonna take Dazzling Gleams here for days. My Zerka Tree though, especially defensive, so. This might knock out the top of Coco. And then if we survive an attack from the Celesteela, we good. Yes. Okay, so we just gotta survive what I imagine is a heavy slam. So <laughs> Flamethrower. Zerka Tree is coming back. No crit, no, no crits, no burns. That's a lot of damage. So. I can't believe it. But I, I, so I led well, I got greedy, was getting punished for it, but it ended up working out somehow. <laughs> oh, see, that's the thing. Zerka Tree, once you get it set up, you get it going. It's, it's strong. And I, the curse is on Snorlax. So if we had been Belly Drum Snorlax, that would, that, that we would have lost that game because we needed, we needed the defensive boost to take the earthquake. Also... We needed to not get burned by any of those flamethrowers. So, that worked out somehow. Anyways, um, that's it for that. I want to I want to bring the team, I want to show you the real cool stuff they can do. Because the idea is you can set up Tailwind, or you can match, you can set up Tailwind to get speed advantage, or you can match Tailwinds. You can taunt things, like if they leave Porygon Trick Room, you can taunt it with Aerodactyl. Uh, you know, Rock Slide is just a good move. A fast Rock Slide is just a good move in general. Off of uh, Aerodactyl, and uh, Sky Drop helps you set up a Zerka Tree and avoid threats. So, yeah, because if they had led Garchomp there, I would have just put. I probably would have. Um, I, I would definitely would have had to switch out the uh, the Zerka Tree. That's that's a problem. Garchomp's a problem. So maybe I should have brought Porygon there instead. I don't know, but. Doesn't matter, because, you know, whatever. Who cares? We're having fun. So, Zerka Tree's cool. I like it very much. And anyways, that's going to be it today, guys, for Ladder Up. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, uh, feel free to leave a like down below. Uh, comment. I know someone uh, sent, left me a comment. I, I can't remember which of you it was. I think it was TJ, or maybe it was maybe it was Carlos. I don't remember. But somebody left a comment about Vikavolt. It looks interesting. And I'm, I, might, I might give that a go. But again... <sighs> I said in a said in a previous video, I'm trying to kind of move away from just I've been in this like like hard trick room team rut, and I got I gotta get away from it. I gotta get away from it. Um, at least for a little bit. So this is kind of like you know this is, this is a little fun team. It's not serious, but Zerka is cool, and I want to use it. So um, make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope to see you back for another episode of Ladder Up.